This video is the 2021 edition of my electrical toolkit that I keep in my RV. And to start off, I purchased this empty saw-sided tool case, uh, and it was around $15. And the reason I like it is because it's fairly small. And there's a couple Velcro straps. And the first item to go into the electrical toolkit is this Fluke Model 101 multimeter. The reason I bought the Fluke is because it was small size. And Fluke has an impeccable reputation. And here's the size of it. I mean, look how small that is. And it comes with a set of test leads. Now, one issue with the Fluke, for some reason, they no longer directly sell the Model 101 in the U.S. But you have to go gray market. Gray market means it does not carry a U.S. warranty. But for the low cost of it, you know, it's not a big deal. Compared to the higher end Fluke meters, this is not as accurate. But that's okay because we're not in a lab setting and it's going to be as accurate as any other meter you're going to get for 50 bucks. And we're just measuring 12 volts DC off the battery plus 120 volts AC, so we're okay with that. But perhaps its biggest limitation is that there is no ability to measure current. Now, I don't really have a problem with that because I rarely measure current outside of an electronic laboratory anyway. So for the ease of use and small compactness, it's not an issue with me. And the meter leads go in the bottom rather than the front. And another tool you'll need in your toolbox is a crimper because, of course, there are thousands of crimps on an RV. I do prefer the ratcheting style like this one, but if you buy one, make sure that you can adjust how tight the crimps are because many of these styles do not have such an adjustment. However, the only issue with this is it's kind of big and heavy, so I still prefer, for portable use, this Klein Tools old style crimper. If you buy this, make sure you buy the Klein Tools one because I've used a bunch of different brands. Most of them are garbage, but this really works fairly well. There's also a set of wire strippers on here, so for a small, compact electrical toolkit, this becomes a multi-purpose tool. So I leave this one home in my toolbox, and I take this one with me in the RV. Another nice item to have is this Klein outlet tester. Now this one's a little different than most because this one you have to put batteries in and then you can power it up. It does display the voltage directly, which is kind of nice. Plus it does test for GFCI outlets. And not only will it test the outlet, it will test the time that it takes the outlet to trip, which most of them do not do. Another nice item to have is a set of electrician tools. And you could go out and buy a complete set like this and it's going to be fairly expensive but you really don't need that because most of the time you're going to turn the power off before you work on anything AC. DC is a different story so you will at least want a couple of these uh, insulated screwdrivers. Again we're talking about the uniqueness of an RV and those electrician toolkits simply do not have everything you need. And you've probably seen this before. This is a board out of a WFCO distribution panel. Here's uh, fuses for the DC side. And all of these screws down here are Robertson, which are square head. So you're going to want to get a Robertson screwdriver that will fit into these screws. And the reason I like the insulated ones is that when you're working on DC, the power probably is on, you're not shorting it out as you're bringing this thing in to the circuit board by hitting something inadvertently. So at minimum, I do like to have a basic set of electrical screwdrivers, including a Robertson, a number two Phillips, and a flat tip. I also have a little container that has all kinds of different connectors, lugs, and things that this fits perfectly in this tool case. I also carry a small set of pliers these are a small set of needle nose, and they are quite small. They're more electronic than anything, but they still work, and they're not that expensive, as well as a small set of nippers. And I have a Leatherman tool, and this is an original, you know, 35 years old or whatever, but it still works. And you can only put so much in this little bag. I also like this knock off to a power probe and I'll actually do a separate video on how this works because it's actually quite fascinating how simple it is and how useful it is. I have this wire marker book and these are self-adhesive markers that you can strip off and they're numbered and that way you can mark your wires if you have to take something apart. 
So I like to take the roll of electrical tape. This is Scotch 33, one of the best tapes in my view. And also just a little small torch for heat shrink. And believe it or not, I'm able to get everything in here. And that makes for a nice little cat. Visit rv-project.com.